Hey, this is Time Bomb, and if it's your first time checking out the channel, hit that subscribe button to catch all the updates. Thanks a lot for joining me here today. I'm going to do a breakdown on how to stop a defense that always gives me trouble, and I'm going to break down my approach on what you, do, you should do against it. So we're talking against the gun split that we've seen for a couple of years here, the tight version where, you know, there's a lot of different post routes and crossing routes that can really give you a lot of trouble. And still this year, um, just because of those posts and the crossers, it is still really tough. So I think the way you need to approach it is to send pressure in there before those routes can really develop and that that can be tough because it takes a good user over the middle and you need what I like to have is fast guys kind of breaking up over the middle of the field so what I always do is have Deion Sanders in the slot and you can see I put him right right next to that edge blitzer so that and into contained blitzes so then when he's coming around the edge there really quickly he's got to get picked up and if he doesn't someone else is going to get in and he should be in there very fast you see here and then my job is to just kind of hover over the line right there and then kind of just watch over the middle and if I can do that then the pressure should get in there we see Bell get in there from that side you know I'm sending six I'm also blitzing that other middle linebacker same here same same approach see this the same cover two uh, this time I'm not blitzing the middle linebacker though I'm only sending five at it see I try to to alternate you know it is dangerous to send these six and then same thing I kind of engage for a second follow him but you can see this one route just burns that that cornerback fell them all the way from that side I believe it's a soft squat so it kind of picked him up as man coverage and was just behind him the whole way but you know same thing I'm getting him my guys in position here and this is actually a, a cover three version of the blitz actually kind of sending six at him see if we can see the play art here before the snap of the ball yeah, there we go. You see I've got two deep halves in the field. I've got the slot man manned up and, and the wide receiver on the other side also manned up. So both of them are manned up and I've got six guys going at him. I believe I'll put contain blitzes on them as well if I have time. If not, see I'm just engaging over the middle here and kind of getting over to, to watch that guy cross and over uh, helping out. And again, the pressure gets in. He goes no huddle against me. So I got to kind of hurry to get a play set up and I believe I go with just a standard cover two. See I've been now I'm going to use her Dion in that same spot that I would normally be blitzing from but this time because I've got I've got him user you know it, it looks like he's blitzing I might get ID that could kind of throw up his whole blocking team because I'm actually going to user him over the meal, middle I put Shazir into a deep blue over the middle and I have another mid read there it seems to be covering that little crossing route see I've got it locked down he can't throw it because I'm there to lurk it and we couldn't throw over the middle earlier get another sack, get the stop. So I've got him to third and 21 here. And this time, let's see my approach against him. I think I'm probably in just like a basic uh, cover two again here. And I even did something different where I put my uh, middle linebacker into a little hook zone. Not my middle linebacker, the, uh, the LT there. He's, he's edge rushing on the kind of in a right end spot there. So he would, instead of been blitzing the quarterback, I've got him playing the, the little hook zone, it looks like. And I'm leaving... Um, see, I'm, I'm basically only sending three this time. Usering over the middle seems to be shutting down most things. He's got a, he runs with the QB. He actually had a little bit of an opening, then throws it over the middle, makes a bad, bad play, and I'm able to pick it off with Willis, who's like an 85 overall on this lineup. So you see, there's basically how I'm able to shut it down, uh, just using that those same sequence of plays, the cover two and the cover three, sending five, six, and then three at the end there to just, just kind of mix it up to kind of throw them off. Here I'm looking at another opponent, Big Daddy DTTV here. Same thing, he's sending me this uh, split close, um, probably out of the Patriots book, I believe, and it's the same kind of thing, my approach here. I'm just kind of trying to get my user right over the middle of the field here, trying to just get in there. See, I have Calvin Johnson, actually, and I'm just watching both routes are kind of covered, and I'm able to just click on and knock that ball away. Just kind of that simple, luckily, just sending not too many guys out of the cover, too. So looks like this time I kind of send the same thing again with my user Calvin Johnson. I'm kind of just watching over the middle, and I've got Dion manned up on that uh, that uh, that lone wide receiver on the left side of the screen here. Uh, second and ten here, Vic kind of reading that looks like he's noticing it and same thing he sends a road up from the halfback Dion does a great job manning him up pressure gets in he's got to throw it away and that was only sending a few men at the uh, QB as well so this time it looks like I'm gonna send a blitz his, this way I'm looking at a different play so it looks like I'm gonna go with the strong safety blitz too you see I get on Dion and I'm gonna move him on to third and ten here moving Dion into position put the contained blitzes in there so I'm sending six I've got Johnson hovering over the left tackle trying to occupy him for a second here and then I'm gonna use her 
over the middle of the field. My basic plan there, uh, you know, he seems to be m flipping the play, it looks like, not motioning over, so, I, you know, I don't really have to do anything, don't have to change anything. I've got soft squats on the outside. They should uh, adjust the lone man. Oh, he takes the penalty. <laughs> so I'm obviously going to accept that. Now we got a third and 15. Same thing. I'm going to move Dion over to that edge. <laughs> Same thing after the penalty. Setting the pressure. I'm going to be sending six still at the at the, at the the QB. At the, at the, at the. <laughs> and then Johnson's just, like I said, hovering over that left tackle, trying to just occupy him so that the blitzer, uh, Dion, can get in there. He's motioning that guy over again. Not going to notice it. Just boom. Dion's going to fly in there, make the play. Vic survives it. Second man gets in there before he can release the ball, though. We get another sack, making it. Oh, he's going to go no huddle against us here. So we're just going to go into our probably our cover two. Yeah, going into the cover two. Just going to back everyone up into coverage. Kind of watch the outside. Might end up uh, yeah, manning up Dion on that lone wide receiver on the left side to screen again out of this cover two. And just kind of Again, making it look like I'm blitzing, but this time it's covered, so I'm just watching all these crossing routes. He's got to throw one up. I'm able to just knock that down, fourth down, get the ball on the five, and that's going to drive. That's going to get the ball back. So there's just a couple different approaches on how to stop someone out of this, uh, you know, this gun close offense that you see a lot of people running online both in weekend league and salary cap so you do want to have a couple different approaches i like to send pressure like i said then if i can having dion there and mixing it in that cover two to kind of just man up you're, you're you've really got to watch which road he's throwing to because they can easily get over the cloud you need to have it manned up and be using the other one and hoping that it will get in there uh the coverage to be able to stop them so that that in corner routes i find this offense is these offenses are the toughest ones for me to stop so i just wanted to give a little breakdown on it so you could see it and see my approach to it so thanks a lot for checking out this video hit the subscribe button i'm time bomb i'll catch you guys later.